The Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority NMDPRA has declared that the Dangote refinery has not yet been licensed. According to the NMDPRA, the refinery is still under construction and has reached only 45% completion. This clarification comes amid speculation about the operational status of the refinery. The NMDPRA indicated that the licensing process is subject to the refinery meeting all regulatory requirements and achieving full completion. They assured the public and stakeholders that the authority is closely monitoring the progress and will issue the necessary licenses once the refinery meets the stipulated standards. The Dangote refinery, which is expected to be one of the largest in Africa, has been highly anticipated for its potential to significantly boost Nigeria's refining capacity and reduce dependency on imported petroleum products. Just uh, like you rightly asked, there are a lot of concerns about uh, uh, supply of petroleum products nationwide and the claims by some media houses that uh, were trying to scuttle Dangote refinery. That is not so. Dangote refinery is still in the pre-commissioning stage. It has not been lessened yet. We haven't lessened them yet. They are still in pre-commissioning. I think they are about 45% completed, complete, in completion rather. So we cannot rely heavily on one refinery to feed the nation because the is, Dangote is requesting that we should suspend or stop all importation of petroleum products, especially AGO and Jetkeru, and direct all marketers to, to the refinery. That is not good for the nation in terms of energy security and that is not good for markets because of uh, monopoly. So in terms of quality, uh, currently, the AGO quality in terms of sulfur is the lowest as far as uh, West African requirement of 50 ppm. Dangote refinery, as well as some modular refineries like uh, Walter Smith refinery, RD refinery, they are produced between 650 to 1200 ppm. So, in terms of quality, their quality is much, much inferior to the imported quality. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. However, the current status indicates that there is still considerable work to be done before the refinery can commence operations. Meanwhile, the NMDPRA continues to work with the Dangote Group to ensure that all safety, environmental, and operational standards are strictly adhered to during the construction phase. The authority reiterated its commitment to supporting the project while ensuring compliance with all regulatory frameworks to guarantee the refinery safe and efficient operation upon completion.